Oftentimes, when companies are successful, they don't view themselves as entrepreneurs anymore. And the fact of the matter is, almost every company started off as an entrepreneurial venture. My great-great-grandfather met up with a guy by the name of Balt. They started the business in 1865. We wanted to be that company that when you called and said, I want to get this done, and I need it Friday, you got it Friday. We get the job done. I think at one point, our redive rate was 1%. I don't think anybody could say that. This is how this place worked. The way things are going, you know, not a lot of, lot of companies keep going out. Well, now I gotta start over again. You know, and after putting almost 20 years in here, you're like, oh. Fair trade is, is not fair. You can't pay for everything here and compete with somebody who's paying for nothing. If businesses don't change and they don't start thinking in a different way, they're going to fail. As the business started going downhill, Neighborhoods starting going downhill. Uh, it was a definite change in the, uh, the people that lived around here. It affected everybody. But, you know, it's, it's tough. Failure on a massive scale can be devastating, but without failure, the learning that needs to happen in order to drive innovation and reinvention is, is very difficult to attain. When we do our work, we really think about the people that have worked here, the business that was done here. You know, the, the, the physical space here really kind of inspires us every day to kind of make sure that this type of thing doesn't happen to all companies. The Globe Dye Works story on one hand is the great American success story. On the other hand, it really is the case for change and the case for a new way of thinking. You know, it's possible for companies to grow. It's possible for companies to be successful, even in the tough times that we're facing now.